We liked Devi a lot, and it was not fair to go over a nice graffiti like this. We wanted to find the guy who did it. We found traces, people trying to repair graffiti that were covered with white. Even the news in Switzerland reported about it. Zerstörte Töpfe bei einem Vandalenakt verwüstet unbekannte Alkunstobjekte am Paradeplatz. Nichts mehr ist auf den meisten von den 22 Töpfen zu erkennen, die am Paradeplatz aufgestellt sind. Die Vandalen haben nicht nur Töpfe verschmiert, teilweise auch die Schildchen, die auf Künstler und Pflanzen hinweisen. Die 22 Töpfe sind irreparabel beschädigt. Sie müssen vermutlich noch diese Woche weggenommen werden. Dass es neue bemalte Töpfe gibt, ist auch unwahrscheinlich. Das sind elf international bekannte Street-Art-Graffiti-Künstler. Die sind nicht verfügbar. Also wir können jetzt nicht in einer kurzen Zeit die Töpfe neu bemalen lassen. We thought this is the right track. We had to go to Switzerland. We figured out a new way to travel for free by sneaking into the driver's cabin in the back of the train. We were even able to regulate the temperature inside the train. We got off in Zurich Hauptbahnhof. The next morning we found a place where everybody was spray painting. While everybody was painting, there was a mysterious young man observing the graffiti with a strange look. We decided to follow him around, and soon enough he introduced himself as Mr. White. There is a big difference of seeing something painted completely white than seeing just the same kind of graffiti piece on a wall, you know. People are used to that, seeing a big graffiti piece on a wall or seeing a graffiti piece on a train. People are used to that. People are not used to seeing a complete white train where even the windows are white. That is bad action with the white paint over all these pieces. Because, yeah, there are some guys in crews and they don't like some shit. Shit like that. Yeah, it's bad. It's really bad. Every art graffiti related person that takes themselves way too serious should be painted over. And that's kind of including a lot of them because most of them think they are very, very smart when they go out there and put some colors on the wall. But it's not necessarily very smart. They need a wake-up call, you know? And I think I am one of the few guys who will give it to them. Yeah, it was a little bit of shock, yes. But sometimes I think the people who work here didn't really recognize what it meant. It was, uh, it was really aggression. I'm in between vandalism and art. 
in the sense that I'm going over vandalism, but it's already on the wall, it already destroyed the wall, and I'm just going over them, so I'm not doing necessarily something illegal. And then, I get caught, the police comes, and catches me. I go to jail, maybe for a maximum three, three, four hours. I call my lawyer, he gets me out, I go to court, in court, they say this is art. I mean, I didn't do any damage. I painted over graffiti that was already there, and I'm out. It's like a trophy, you know. People collect trophies, and I also collect trophies. This is one of them. But many people uh, liked it before, how it was, painted with graffiti, colorful. Yeah, with those people, I don't really have so much in common with them anyway. It means two things. First, it's white now, or the other thing, we make it empty. We make it, we make a new, new space to fill it. Mr. White had a special view in general. For him, everything had to be white. Yeah. So we'll turn on the light. The first 24 hours. The first 24 hours till tomorrow, 5 o'clock. Cannot smoke, uh, yeah, to drink. It's only water, milk, 7 up Sprite. Um, okay. Everything is clear and white. Clear and white. Clear. White wine? Yeah, white wine is possible. Red, red. Gin is also possible. Gin? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gin tonic? Um, yeah. Gin what he was doing upset a lot of people, but to us, he was friendly. He got some drinks that night to celebrate good life. It was clear that Mr. White didn't know who did the Star Wars two-piece, but we asked him anyway. Mr. White? No. You don't know who did it? I don't know. Was it the black guy? Yeah. We left Mr. White in the hospital. He wanted to be alone. We continued to celebrate on our own. We found a party on the streets where music was playing out of a trash can. That's how I look. It's okay. After trash party, I was just hidden, hidden by the bottle of the something, fall down on my lips. It's okay. It's just a. It's just a. I don't know what is it. So I'm just wondering what's gonna happen next. They gonna fix my lip in one hour. Switzerland medicine. It's a nice one, I think. Okay, this is it. I hope I won't pay nothing for it. Mr. White and Veli both ended up in the hospital. We realized we lost track. Both of us got sentimental after the accident, so we left Mr. White and headed back to Debbie.